The alternator is a crucial component that supplies the car with power when the engine is running. Undercharging is a more common issue, but it's also possible for the alternator to overcharge, which can lead to a series of electrical failures. Alternator overcharge is caused by a defective voltage regulator, and the only solution is to have the alternator refurbished or replaced. What are the symptoms of an alternator overcharging? The first symptom of a bad alternator is the battery dashboard warning light. You can use an OBD2 scanner to diagnose and confirm that the alternator is causing a power issue. Without a scanner, you'd have to take your vehicle to a mechanic and likely pay more than the cost of the tool. Headlights and taillights are the next to go. Variable and high voltage will significantly reduce the lifespan of light bulbs and cause premature burnouts. In more serious cases, the high voltage will heat up the battery and reduce its effectiveness and lifespan. Blown fuses and relays are also common as they are a safety system that prevents more serious electrical damage. How to identify alternator overcharge? The car battery is set to operate at 12.6 volts, while the optimal alternator voltage is 14.2 volts. With these figures and a multimeter, we can easily confirm whether the alternator is overcharging your vehicle. Step-by-step -step instructions. 1. Set the multimeter to 20 volts DC. 2. Connect the red probe to the positive battery clamp and the black probe with the negative. 3. With the engine off, the base reading from the battery should be 12.6 volts or at least above 12 to 12.2 volts. 4. Start the engine. The reading should be between 14.2 and 14.7 volts as the alternator starts recharging the battery. 5. Turn on the headlights, radio and hazards. The reading should still be higher than the base battery voltage, ideally above 14 volts. Check the video description to see which multimeter we recommend. Battery voltage below 12.2 volts could indicate that it's dying. Drive the car for at least 30 minutes and check again. If the battery voltage is still low, to confirm what the cause is, we need to eliminate the alternator. The alternator operates in the 14.2 to 14.7 volt range. This is enough power to quickly but also safely recharge the battery. Turning on the headlights and other power consumers may lower the voltage slightly as the alternator has to supply them with power as well. If the voltage drops below 14.2 volts without load or below 12.7 volts under load, it's a clear sign that the alternator is not supplying enough power. However, if the alternator is supplying enough power but the battery remains under 12.6 volts, that means that the battery is dying. The overcharge is the easiest to diagnose. The voltage reading, when the engine is running, will go beyond 14.7 volts. The following video doesn't have a good explanation on how to fix the problem, but it shows you how to connect the multimeter and read the voltage. How to fix an overcharging alternator We've seen a few temporary bypass solutions to the problem, but we don't recommend doing that. The problem has to be addressed properly and the only way to fix an overcharging alternator is to take it off and have it repaired or install a new one. To fix the voltage regulator, you'd have to open the alternator and have advanced knowledge of electrical systems, a task beyond the skills of a DIY mechanic. Instead, we can turn to one of many alternator repair shops for assistance, or get a new alternator from Amazon or a local parts store. The difficulty of the job depends on the location of the alternator. If it's easily accessible, the job is fairly easy. But if it's located deep inside the engine bay, you'll have to remove parts that get in the way. In that case, we would advise you to look up a vehicle-specific guide as it will show you the optimal way of accessing the alternator. Step-by-step -step instructions. 1. Disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. 2. Create space around the alternator 
so you can work on it by removing components that get in the way. Avoid taking off coolant hoses as that will add a lot more work. 3. Relieve the serpentine belt tensioner and take the belt off the alternator pulley. 4. Disconnect the power plugs from the alternator. Use a socket and the biggest ratchet to unscrew the alternator bolts. 5. Clean the alternator bracket and bolts with a wire brush to create a better connection. 6. Position the alternator on the bracket. Apply anti-seize on the bolt threads and slot them into the alternator holes. 7. Tighten bolts by hand, alternating between them so they're lowering evenly. Switch to the ratchet and finish the job. 8. Reconnect the alternator wires. 9. Mount the serpentine belt back in place and double check that it's seated properly on each of the pulleys. Reference the diagram on the engine bay sticker or inside the repair manual. 10. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. Here are some common questions we get asked about overcharged alternators. Can I drive with an overcharging alternator? Driving with an overcharging alternator increases the risks of damage to the electrical components, primarily light bulbs and the battery. You don't have to stop immediately and call a towing service, but you shouldn't drive your vehicle normally either. Take it to a mechanic or address the problem yourself by following the guide. Is 15 volts too high for an alternator? 15 volts is generally considered a bit too high, but it really depends on what the manufacturer specified. European cars have to run with daytime running lights or standard low beams at all times, so the alternator voltage might be set higher to compensate for the constant power draw. Can a bad ground cause an alternator to overcharge? It's debatable whether a bad ground will cause the alternator to overcharge. The problem is more likely to cause the alternator to undercharge as the power is lost on its way to the battery. The alternator voltage regulator keeps the voltage in check and as you've seen from the multimeter readings, its main purpose is to get 14.2 to 14.7 volts on the battery terminals and not go over. To summarize what we talked about in this video, alternator overcharge is a serious problem, but with a good socket set and a replacement alternator, the problem can be fixed in under an hour. Call the local refurbishment companies and get an estimate, or buy a brand new alternator if it's affordable. The labor costs of an alternator replacement is at least a couple of hundred dollars, but you can buy the tools for less and keep them for the next repair. That way, you're building up your toolkit until eventually almost all repairs will involve replacement parts and nothing else, significantly reducing the overall cost. We hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of our videos.